Welcome, to Catholic News World. Welcome to Catholic News World. Here are this week's breaking news headlines. Mark Wahlberg will star in a film about Father Stuart Long, a boxer turned priest. Wahlberg has been developing the film for years. Mark Wahlberg go into the boxing ring for this feature film role. Wahlberg has also gotten Mel Gibson to play Long's father while Teresa Ruiz, one of the stars of Narcos, Mexico, will play his girlfriend. Deadline's Justin Kroll reported that Wahlberg will play Father Stuart Long in the film entitled Stu, which follows the life of a Montana boxer who retired from fighting due to injuries and was later in a serious motorcycle accident. In the hospital, according to reports, Long had an out-of-body experience and rediscovered his faith and enrolled in Mount Angel Seminary in Oregon. Long eventually decided to become a priest. However, before he was ordained, Long was diagnosed with a rare muscular degenerative disease that forced him into a wheelchair. In spite of these sufferings, he achieved his goal and Long's ministry developed a following among thousands of people. The ADF, reports that, imprisonment for posting a Bible tweet is now a very real possibility in Finland. The Finnish Prosecutor General has brought three criminal charges against Finnish Member of Parliament, Paivi Rasanen. The former Minister of the Interior now faces two years of imprisonment for each alleged crime. The medical doctor, mother of five, and grandmother of six is accused of having engaged in hate speech for publicly voicing her opinion on marriage and human sexuality in a 2004 pamphlet, for comments made on a 2018 TV show and, most recently, a tweet directed at her church leadership. I cannot accept that voicing my religious beliefs could mean imprisonment. I do not consider myself guilty of threatening, slandering or insulting anyone. My statements were all based on the Bible's teachings on marriage and sexuality, said Pivi Rasanen. I will defend my right to confess my faith, so that no one else would be deprived of their right to freedom of religion and speech. I hold on to the view that my expressions are legal and they should not be censored. I will not back down from my views. I will not be intimidated into hiding my faith. The more Christians keep silent on controversial themes, the narrower the space for freedom of speech gets. New Swiss guards swore their oath at a Vatican ceremony and participated at Mass. The Pontifical Swiss Guard welcomed 34 new recruits to their ranks, and recalled their 500 years plus of history and service to the Pope. Pope Francis said to them, I thank the Lord with you, the source of all good, for the various gifts and the various vocations He entrusts to you. This circumstance gives me the opportunity to publicly thank all members of the Swiss Guard for the diligent performance of their service. I very much appreciate your ability to combine professional and spiritual aspects, thus expressing your devotion and fidelity to the Apostolic See. With the 34 new recruits, the Pontifical Swiss Guard number around 130, the maximum allowed is 135. The miraculous liquefaction of the blood of St. Januarius in Naples, Italy took place this year. St. Januarius is the patron saint of Naples, where the faithful gather three times a year in the cathedral to witness the liquefaction of a sample of his blood kept in a sealed glass ampule. Bishop Januarius was a martyr. On the 2nd of May, 2021, during the second day of prayer, the miracle of the liquefaction of the blood of St. Januarius was repeated. The blood of St. Januarius first began to liquefy in the year 1389. Last year, the blood did not liquefy on December 16, this was thought to be a warning from above of the pandemic. Also this year, due to the health crisis caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, the procession was not held, according to tradition. Philippine Catholic bishops have placed the nation under the special patronage of St. Joseph on May 1, his feast day. Led by Archbishop Romulo Valles, President of the Bishops' Conference, the National Act of Consecration was live-streamed from the San Pedro Cathedral in Davao City. The consecration began with a rosary-led Cebu Auxiliary Bishop Midful Billones from the National Shrine of St. Joseph in Mandawe City. In addition to the thousands who viewed the live streaming, many cathedrals allowed for limited in-person attendance consistent with physical distancing and face mask requirements. Masses were then held in different churches across the country to celebrate the Feast of Jesus' Earthly Father. The Catholic Church in Latin America has seen over 200 of its priests die from COVID-19 virus. The Catholic Church in Latin America, 
during 2020 and the first quarter of 2021, saw dozens of its priests die in different countries such as Venezuela, Mexico, Peru, Colombia, and Bolivia. In Toledo, Ohio, USA, an entire Catholic high school of 600 students and staff participated in a Eucharistic procession and adoration prayer. Liam Brown, a student of Central Catholic High School, age 18, had this idea and encouraged his school to take part. Father David Kidd said to Catholic News World, the idea came from a student which I think was awesome. The Eucharistic procession was a new experience for many of our students, so we wanted to make it prayerful, memorable, and big. So many students and faculty and staff members did the hard work to make this possible because we believe in the mission of Central Catholic High School to form disciples of Jesus Christ. We are made to give praise to God. We give glory to God when we take Jesus into every part of our lives. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. God bless. Please subscribe to Catholic News World's YouTube channel. Thanks and God bless.